we're finding the limit as x goes to 9 of the absolute value of 9 minus x over 9 minus x. We're going to do it by hand. So we have to handle this absolute value. So let's go over to here. And remember that the absolute value of a is equal to a if a is greater than or equal to 0. And it's equal to negative a if a is less than 0. The negative is so that if a itself is a negative number, then by putting the negative in front of a, it'll turn out to be uh, positive. And that's what we want. So our function is absolute value of negative of 9 minus x over 9 minus x. So where it breaks up into, it'll be 9 minus x divided by 9 minus x. If 9 minus x is greater than 0, notice I didn't put the equals because we have 9 minus x in the denominator. So that would make it undefined. So it's just greater than strict. And then the function will be negative 9 minus x over 9 minus x if the 9 minus x is less than 0. Following our uh, definition of absolute value of a. So then that works out to it'll be equal to 1 if x is less than 9. If you work out this inequality, you get x is less than 9. And it'll equal negative 1 if x is greater than 9. Alright. So, coming from the left of 9, our limit from the left, x goes to 9, x goes to 9 from the left of the function. It'll be 1's. We have coming from the left of 9, the function's equal to 1 throughout. So that'll be 1. Coming from the right of 9, x goes to 9 from the right of the function. All those function values are negative 1 coming from the right. So the limit is negative 1. Those two limits are not equal. Therefore, the limit as x goes to 9 of f of x does not exist. DNE. Okay, so that's the answer in the analysis by hand or algebraically. In the calculator, you have to put in the function here abs 9 minus x divided by 9 minus x. You get the abs, absolute value, from the math menu. Scroll over to number and uh, abs is number one. When you press graph on that you get this picture and it has this strange artifact right here. If you want to get rid of that artifact you go to mode and change get connected into dot. Then it removes that and you get this picture here. Of course you'll have to put the open circles on there. Then you can see that as you go to 9 on the left, if the function values are 1, the limit doesn't care what happens at 9, just what as it's approaching, and you'll have 1. And then coming from the right, as x goes down to 9 from the right, all the function values there are negative 1. So the limit coming from the right will be negative 1. Since the limits on the left and right do not equal each other, the answer is that the limit does not exist.